Good morning, dear viewer. It is 11.37 a.m. and I am on my way into work. As I navigate the MTA's underfunded tunnels, let me get you up to speed on my internship. So I'm a student at Rhode Island School of Design and this is my penultimate week living in New York, pseudo freelancing for this company, upcycling their dead stock silk scarves into women's wear. Not bad at all for a sophomore. The offices are right by Times Square. So when I'm going in in the morning, it's usually really quiet. And then when I come back, it's absolutely bustling. I can't stand it. Today is Friday, so it's my day off. But since the offices are open, I'm headed in to use my little glamorized cubicle of a studio and work on my upcoming runway show I will be showing in the spring. Have a good day. Welcome to the office. You know when you've just been kind of living your life and then you realize that your space is actually extremely messy and you're gonna have to clean it all up? Yeah, that's what happened to me. It's the creative process. Inspired by all the different colors of scrap denim I got from Fab Scrap a few videos ago, I had this idea for a gradient long jean vest jacket cape hybrid. I need to take a deep breath after that one. For the closing outfit of my show, and I just think it is going to be ridiculous. Having worked primarily with silk for the last four weeks, it felt so good to go back to reliable old denim again. It's so much easier to work with and it just behaves nicely. <laughs> I, it doesn't slip and slide into a whole different shape as you're cutting patterns from it. I had really fallen into a good rhythm of like cosplaying the corporate lifestyle at this point. Meal prepping, lunch breaks, timesheets, and other bureaucracy just fell away. It was second nature. And I was able to spend so much time in this flow state, sitting quietly, sewing and surging and pattern cutting. Like, I do not think I have had this level of immersion and freedom to focus on one project ever before. And I was excited to bring these lessons back to art school with me. I'm so sleepy now. I don't understand how people get home and then cook themselves dinner and then like send emails or like whatever. It's, it's 6 p.m. and I'm, I'm like one of the first people to leave the office. How does it work? <laughs> Unless you have a partner. The system's not built for single people. Anyway, rant over. I'm going home. <laughs> It's almost been comical how hard it's been to like cobble together the bits of machinery like irons and steamers and cutting boards that I need to like actually be able to make stuff because all of the work they do in the office is just basically colonialism like they design things on CAD and then they send it off to the factories and then they get the samples back in I don't know I love but it's a family owned business. I'm really glad I'm not working for some big conglomerate, like no shade to them, they're doing business. However, they, you know, they're doing business in the way that it is profitable right now and in the way that the system encourages them. But ethically, I just can't <laughs> deal with it. There must be a better way
That weekend though, my routine was interrupted for the better by a surprise guest. My mum, all the way from the UK, coming out to celebrate the last week of my internship. We went to the Whitney and I spent some time reminiscing about my art A-level coursework, looking at Edward Hopper's paintings before heading out for some Indian food. Unbelievably cold today that New York is the like the Arctic tundra. <laughs> Thank you so much. My mom surprised me by coming out from London to New York for like five days. So I just had dinner with her, which was really lovely. And um, yeah, because I'm planning to stay in Providence over the majority of the summer, so I wouldn't be seeing her for like eight months or something ridiculous. And so she just booked a last minute ticket and came out like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Friday night is unequivocally drag race night. Come at me. <laughs> Good morning, I am back in my one singular outfit that I bought to New York and today we're going to the Noguchi Museum which I have been wanting to go to for the longest time. It's gonna be good. I just hadn't had any sort of leftover capacity to do the touristy things on my bucket list. So having an excuse to go out from my friend's place where I was staying gave me that push I needed to get out of that damn apartment. Goji Museum, here we come. Okay. Oh, back out into the cold. Oh wow. Gorgeous. Excuse the overhead lining, but this is such a beautiful space. I love it. Oh, what nice thing. Yeah, thank you so much for coming out. Otherwise, I would be really bad. <laughs> Back home after a long day. The next day, we went out to this vegetarian Chinese restaurant and made the fatal error of mistakenly deciding to walk over the Brooklyn Bridge. It was so touristy, I... I just could not deal with it. Like that was probably the most people I've ever seen for two years. But from there, we walked along the riverfront, which was cute, and we ended up in a little coffee shop. On Monday though, I had to go back to work for the final few days. And after some sewing machine maintenance, I made these cute harem pants. Am I saying that right? Hopefully I'm saying that right. From two scarves and a bit of elastic before going home to say goodbye to my mom.
Hi, Ashley. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's Buzzy here. I emailed you earlier with my resume about volunteering to help you in Fashion Week. I just wanted to introduce yeah. myself. Oh, no problem. It's so nice to meet you. I'm so um, happy that you want to work with us. And I expect you to it's my last day of this internship, which is really good news because I am tired. One of the seams just popped on this dress, so I'm just gonna fix it and then have to clear up this mess as well. And just like that, my little segment of the office, or what I've been calling the studio, has gone from being this great, creative, lovely place to look, just a white cube. You know, it kind of feels like I'm moving out of a dorm. Like, that's the energy. I'm gonna miss here, but six weeks into this internship, it's enough. <laughs> Okay, it's my fashion week debut. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film today, but hopefully there'll be enough to show you what it's kind of like backstage. Okay, so just for some context, a few days ago I had realized that it was New York Fashion Week coming up, so I put on ye old trusty networking hat and sent an email with my resume to all the designers showing, like every single one of them. Almost immediately I got a message back from this luxury women's wear designer called Ashley who was just amazing, working really hard to set up her own indie show, not like any of the big corporate runway 7 type setups. It was unpaid, but I truly felt like I was making a difference and it was a great insight into the industry. So I will be back to help her out in September for sure. So many bags. <laughs> but my bread machine home in Providence was cooling. So I struggled my way to the Moynihan train hall with my whole studio in tow and lay back on the Amtrak as I watched the New York skyline slowly fade. Filled with Takati, her booty pilot.